Hi, sweet friends. Welcome back to my home. If we're meeting for the first time, my name's Rebecca. Hello, welcome to Farmhouse at Meadow Hill. Today, I have another Goodwill haul for you, and I'll go into everything that I've got. I've got quite a few items, but I did find a few items for the boot. I found a couple of items for my home. Before we get started, I just want to welcome you. If you're new here at FAM, my name is Rebecca. I do a lot of thrift with me and home decorating. Come along with me as I look for items to flip. I hope you consider subscribing to my channel. And if you ring the bell, you'll get notified every time I post a new video. And one of the things I found, I actually found three of these. It's a little set of nativity. And I know they're made in China, but they're so cute. I don't know. I have a special place in, um, you know, in my heart for uh, these, and I just love them. Sure. But there was three sets, and I paid two ninety nine for all three sets. I'm gonna keep one and put the others in my booth. Another thing that I found was two popcorn. Ceramic. These were from Crate and Barrel. So I think, is that Kohl's, guys? I believe it's Kohl's. But anyway, these are adorable. You know, popcorn movie night for two. That's an idea. <laughs> my, uh, <laughs> my daughter and her boyfriend have a lot of movie nights. So, hmm, what an idea. <laughs> Maybe. Another thing I found, I found these three little delicate china cups and they're Haviland and Company, Haviland, France. And they're very, very cute. They've got fall leaves on them, some leaves on the inside, and here is the markings. Very nice. Very delicate too, but those would be so pretty. And I'm gonna sell them uh, all as one set. How cute would that look in a cloche? Speaking of a cloche, I found one and I've already cleaned it up because it was just a mess. This is a gen, gen, genuine, blah, 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 a genuine a teak wood from Thailand. And the it's a it's a cheese plate actually uh, the cloche, and this top is very very thick, but yeah, how cute would these be sitting in there? Cute. You can do something like that for the upcoming holidays. I may keep this one. Uh, put some little trees and snow in there. Uh, also a, a little miniature a nativity scene, but I just love this and the thickness of the lid is just really great. But I had to go ahead and clean that up. I just couldn't handle uh, touching it anymore. I'm always looking for things for uh, the different seasons, like the upcoming Christmas holiday, uh, even uh, all the way up to spring. And speaking of spring, I found this. This is hand hammered, the Forge, Williamsburg, Virginia. And look at, it is metal. Look at the scene on that. I thought that would be pretty. Looks about like a eight inch plate. And that would be pretty for spring with all the little floral in there. I also found this Lord Nelson pottery handcrafted in England. And I paid $1.99. I haven't been given prices. Everything was like $1.99 to $2.99. I don't think I gave, well, I have a couple of things, but I'll tell you about that. This is $1.99, and this is another one I thought that would also 
but be great for spring in my boo. And then here is the symbol on the bottom. I did find a little vintage holly hobby where friendship blossoms, happiness grows. It says spring love, genuine porcelain, Cleveland, USA, made in Japan, $2.99. This thing is like cement. It is so heavy. And it was actually from Hobby Lobby. I don't know what they intended for this to be. $2.99, very, very heavy. I guess it would be a shelf sitter. I don't know what else you would do with it, but it's cement. I guess you could put it out on the porch. There's a thought. This, I picked up, I knew what it was when I seen it. It's hand painted. I did pay $6.99. has a little tribal scene on it on the back side. On the bottom, it just has a sticker, but it is like clay, a uh, clay pot, and I don't see any nicks or anything on it. This is actually will go in my Poshmark closet for, and wait for the right person who collects these. I did find another smaller vase for $1.99, and the reason I like this size is when I have time, guys, I am going to paint the vase that I found, and I've talked about doing that. I got my paint. I, everything is set. I got some brushes that I wanted to use, and I just need to find the time to do that for you guys. The next item, guys, is I think this is a small hat box. No, I'm kidding. Uh, it's, <laughs> uh, it's a cheese box, and this one is a nice one. So if somebody wanted to distress it, it's, I got it for $1.99. It doesn't have any markings on it at all, but very cute if somebody wanted to Use it as a storage box. Decorate in your kitchen. If they want to paint it or stain it, uh, they could. This one isn't a vintage one, but it is a nice one. I picked this up, guys. I know, it, it looks like a Valentino. It needs a little bit of cleaning up, but I don't see any markings. I don't believe it is a, a Valentino. But boy, does it look just like one of theirs. Uh, I did pay $7.99 for this. I thought long and hard whether I wanted to get it. I put it in my cart and then made my decision so that if I did decide to go back and get it, and it wasn't there. But I am going to clean this up, and it's just cute. It's adorable. It could be a cosmetic case or a handbag and it's just got a lot of style to it and i will put this in my poshmark closet and i just know that somebody is going to fall in love with this my husband sort of thought i was crazy when i picked this up can you guys see it you know what it is it's a dish strainer in a wood these used to be very, very popular. I got this one for $4.99, but I thought I could use this in my boo if I have plates or dishes that I am going to sell that I will um, display them on that. So for $4.99, uh, I thought I can definitely use that. I can fold it up when I'm not using it and store it away. Next item. I put this in. I thought it was cute. This is a little, doesn't have any markings, but I can tell it's been handmade. It's got a little crack, not that it's broken, but it was actually done that way. And then probably when they put it through the oven, that's how it turned out. But I love it on this side. It looks like a little creamer, 
just adorable. It's got a chicken on one side and nothing wrong with that, but I thought I would just add this to my home and I put these little fall stems in here just to show you how adorable it is. And it is so cute. If you guys remember in my last haul, I was picking up a bunch of these for Christmas and I wanted to create my own little village. And I'll have to show you what I do with them. But I found three last time and then I found this one. And these are just little made in China kind of things. This one was three bucks, $2.99. But I gotta clean it up and put it with the others. And I will show you what I do with those. And I will continue to look for more because I wanna do this little village over on my sideboard. And I'll share that with you during the holiday, upcoming holidays. Okay, who doesn't love snowman? Yeah, snowman just melts our heart. Look how cute. It's a little candy dish, got a tree inside. It's got little snowflakes. It doesn't have any kind of markings. I think this might be something that you might find at Walmart or something. $1.99 for a cute candy dish. And this will go in my booth for the holidays because I am looking for items for the holiday. Larry found this Woodland Christmas. It says it's a planter. It had $19 marked on it, and Goodwill wanted $4.99, and I said yes to the $4.99. Look at this, this is cute. And I really don't mind, this looks like it's like a metal patina, but it's not. It is a uh, ceramic, see on the inside. And I thought, how cute would this be with a tree in it? And I don't know if it's something, you know, guys, I can't keep everything. I would love to. And I'm like, oh, this would be so cute in my house with a tree in it. Maybe I put the tree in it and put it in the booth because, you know, I can't keep everything in my house is getting overwhelmed. This, guys, I don't know what this was used for. If you guys know, Larry's seen it. It's metal. It's heavy. It's like a bronze, and they want it $2.99. And I'm like, do you put a tree in this? Uh, is this like candy or candle? Is this like a super big candle? I don't know. But it is a Christmas item with trees and snowflakes. So anyway, I'll figure out. I thought pine cones will look cute in this as well. For $2.99, this will go in the booth. I didn't pass up this. Um, I must have taken the price off. I'm not gonna clean it up. A lot of people don't like them cleaned up. They like the patina. It is a silver. Platter. There's some carving and it says happy 27th anniversary, mom and dad. Uh, love you both very much, Gertrude. Doesn't have a date. People decorate with these. This will go in the booth. And I think I might have paid $1.99 or $2.99 for it. Not much. It wasn't much. Looking for Christmas stuff. This is wood. How cute. Don't know originally where it was from. Uh, looks like I might have to fluff and redo his little berries before I take it down to the booth. Paid $2.99. Found some spring items. And this will be for the booth. $1.99, how cute is that? Happy spring. And everything just looks good. Uh, ribbon, buttons, and everything. So I'll remark it and uh, put it in my booth for spring. 
Uh, these two little items I found down at Vendor's Village when we went down to clean up our booth the other day uh, after the Labor Day weekend, you know, they said it was uh, pretty packed. And just to update you, I had uh, a couple of those wreaths. You, I'll show you a picture here when I got those wreaths at a yard sale for $2 of swags. And I redid, redid them with a dollar's worth of Dollar Tree leaves. And I sold two of them for $19.99 each, and those are gone. Uh, this one was $2.99. Just, they look like a little miniature laundry basket, one in a dark, one in a lighter color. But I thought how cute these would be in my laundry room for storage. Another little piece of pottery I found, and they did want $5 for this. This was at Goodwill. And this is Mexico pottery, uh, bright. I don't see any chips or anything. And I know that probably people collect these. So anyway, this may go in my Poshmark and wait for the right buy. When I seen this platter, I wasn't sure. So I went ahead and picked it up. They want it $4.99. It is Red Cliff Ironstone made in the USA. And I had to do a little research. Unfortunately, I couldn't find the name of the pattern. So you guys are looking at it. If you know this pattern, let me know. Now, what these originally were, and I thought, well, it looks like the way that it's made, it had something sitting here. So when I did the research, this is what I found, and I'll show you a picture, that they actually had the soup bowls or terrines that would sit in, in these, and these would be the bottom part of it. And I guess they could also be used for serving platters as well. This is very thick, very heavy, and I don't see any scratches, nicks, or anything on this. And so, of course, you know, the soup bowl wasn't with it, but I knew that this was a nice piece of ironstone. And speaking of ironstone, I don't think I showed you guys these from my last haul, and if I did, forgive me. This is Paul Craft Heirloom, made in the USA, and it's not, it, you know, it's got a little spot here, but this thing is heavy. This is a rather large, and I've already got it marked, Vintage Ironstone Platter, and my asking price in my booth is usually $18, and I get that quickly. That, that moves pretty quick in my booth. Now I have one more to show you that I got, and this one was a, a vintage turkey plate, no markings, it's got a little bit of grazing, from, and that tells me the age of it. But this is just gorgeous for the holidays, or if somebody wanted to display this during the holidays on their hutch. But how beautiful is that? And my asking price, this is going to the booth, is again $18 for the platter. So I do have some more decorating videos I am working on my kitchen and then also my front porch and I can't wait to start uh, getting some pumpkins and decorating my front porch. I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for being here. Have a great day.